Playhouse. What's up, everybody? Good night. Super late tonight. Sorry. Um, we had a late night gym sesh. Uh, but we're back for more Dog on Rompa. So, um, Mukuru Ikusawa is dead. And then the body blew the fuck up. That's what happened. And now we're just trying to piece everything together. Um, we got the key to the data center so that we can go down to the data center so that we can enter um, the data center where the mastermind was watching from the data center. So right now we're in the data center. That's where we left off at. So things should get kind of spicy. And um, if you wonder what Shira is doing, Shira is um, we're entering the Uber Eats arc again for tonight. So some more entertainment for you guys. Who knows how this? Who knows how this is gonna go? Yeah. What? Wait. What, what? No. No. What? You could. I. I was like, yeah, but then I was like, wait, no. Um. Also, thank you, NBA highlights. Always here. NBA highlights. Always in the chat with the donos. Thank you, y'all. Fist fire. Also, what's up? Glad to be here. Glad you are here. I just realized a lot of you guys probably didn't see when we wore this. What game were we playing when we wore this? It was a while ago when we had these fits on. Was it? Was it an Elden Ring stream? No. No. I think it was before Elden Ring, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. We're gonna jump into this game here and see what's going on tonight. Hang on. Oh, I'm looking for my headphones. And neither Taco Bell and definitely not Arby's. Yeah, we explained why it can't be Arby's last stream. Even if it's. Yeah. I deadass got an Arby's ad in my email before the stream. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. You keep talking about him. That's why. That's why that happened. Who? They keep talking about Arby's, so that's why Arby popped up. Oh, yeah? Because your phone listens to you. It listens to you. Mukuru Ikusaba. Yeah, shout out the to Julie Rockhard with an X that got us these. The, the 16th the student at, at Hope Peak Academy. Yeah. And that's all you want, right? It's just the fish sticks? Yeah. Yeah, the fish sticks. That's what I want. That's exactly what I want, fish sticks. Okay, here we are in the data center. We left off right here in the data center. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. Whoa, thank you for the dono, Andres. Mukuru Ikusaba. Yes. 16 student at Host Peak Academy. 
and the mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. Oh, I know, bro. I already figured it out. It's Lucius Fox. That's who's been spying. That's that's who the mastermind is. As long as I ha have this. Huh? Oh God. Look at M Master Go. It's like a feast for the eyes. How much is a m m monthly membership? When did this game come out? She was trying to get the OnlyFans before. Damn, that was a mid joke. I'm sorry, Big Bongo. I'll try and be better next time. Uh, um... I mean, I want to know why they were killed as much as the next guy. But I also really want to get out of here. Hello, Mr. KN. Why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find out the identity and purpose of the Mastermind. How many monitors there are? Eyes are flickering as fast as they are. Draco Wyvern trying to cause some discourse tonight. Would you rather fight two gorillas at the same time once oh every gosh. year or fight a group of geese once every month? I'll take the geese. Thanks for the sub, Azure Blaze. I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody's surviving a fight with two gorillas yeah, once a year. That, that's that's a. That's <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not happening. <sighs> Master's g going around all this stuff. It's like an all you can watch buffet. <laughs> He was like, I don't got nothing to say to this chick right now. This is interesting. Why is there a camera in here watching the mastermind? No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Eagle was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? The Mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network. And Alter Eagle. Hmm. You may well be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. What else am I missing in here? There's something. There's some other juicy detail being hidden. Are you alright? The there's the nothing circles. showing up on this one. Hmm. Huh? Hey, look. Next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is. Just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? someone say TV? You know? Well, well. Saturday morning heat is here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Thanks for the don't know John Ray Naval. Love your anime reactions. Patreon mem too. Question. I'm gonna watch the Danganronpa animes and play the other games too. Much love to Lupa too. If there's enough um, requests for it, we may consider it. And thank you for the love. He just made a Gurren Logan reference for sure way in using your fighting spirit like Kamina did with his Gundam. They're gonna rip you apart for calling him the Gundam fam. Yeah. You know? Ah, you're all starved for info from the outside world, huh? All right, let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. 
I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? No luck. Um, the door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. We need the key that we need the key that Kyoko has, the Monokuma key. Yeah. No, nope, no good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Damn. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. We're about to hear the brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm going to laugh now. <laughs> and that's that. This is crazy. This asshole. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want to all I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. Okay. Here we go. Huh? You can't be serious. We have to keep going. Let me out of here. N no. We were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. Fucking Wakanda music. Wakanda. Wakanda forever. And besides, yep, I said this is baby making music. <laughs> Who would smash this? This life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life, no matter where you are. <laughs> are you serious? This place is the worst. <laughs> if it's the worst. Does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> well now. Yeah. I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now! Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? But what does that mean? What the heck? It's displaying the, the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Uh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Kills, chills, kills! The Killing Game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Yeah. So it's freaking Squid Game, like I said. <laughs> it's freaking Squid Game. What? Extreme! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. So over here having equipment malfunctions in the middle of the jam session? <laughs> what? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? 
Oh, no! The camera feed is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible! That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system! You know that? All you need is one more trick that I found! And hijacking the airwaves is easy mode! Are, are you being serious right now? Of course! I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Oh. Hey, um, everything has a meaning, you know? All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show. Oh, shit. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. So it's literally the circle murder edition? Yep. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Uh, um... Y yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually, what if they already did? Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure. Some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you. But who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical, Thanks for astronomical joining, amount Monokuma. of resources. Oh shit. This is bad. <laughs> Monokuma just joined. Yep. So how could things have come this far? Well... That's a secret! There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course! Yeah, duh! There's the little business of... Trial. Up. Yep. Here it comes. A body's been discovered! A body has been discovered! After a certain discovered. amount... I don't even know this nigga, bro. I don't give a fuck who killed this this dude that tried to or woman that tried to kill me. Huh? Oh shit. Oh. C -c -c Class trial? Do you mean? <laughs> It was a little bit longer than that. <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here! Everyone, give it all you've got, okay? Heart-pounding excitement! Okay? Things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out! You're in for a heck of a ride! I can't wait! I can't wait! Okay. And then, he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible, the truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was... Despair. Despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. Oh. I don't understand any of this. What's Despair Entertainment? And... My man Monokuma said Despair ENT Records. <laughs> How is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah. And, and plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. 
What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mukuru Ikusaba was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukuru Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There is no other possibility. Fuck. That's not Kyoko. The body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible. Because... Because I don't... I don't fucking know anything, actually. I don't even know who she really is. So, uh... Maybe it is her to have to end it like this. I don't believe it. <laughs> okay, Naruto. Reverse Naruto. Evil Naruto be like, I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But... But, but if we're gonna have a class trial... Then that means the killer... That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <gasps> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Hmm. Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Huh? But you just said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There is a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. <laughs> Shit. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. What the fuck is this music? Is this new? Yeah. Okay, you can't be just throwing in new tracks like 80% to the game. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least oh, several days screen. old. What? Music. Oh. Oh, wow. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. Unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened. Or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Y'all are mad lucky that Monokuma is just a bear and not an orangutan with a sword. Oh my god. You're correct. Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important, from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. And suck. <laughs> if I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh. These are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they get in the way of normal activity. I think the nails are put on after because in the scene where she attacks us, she Maybe didn't she have, have a have one. one. There's also something on the back of her right hand. Is this a tattoo? It got burned so I can't make out the whole thing, but... It looks like a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Yeah, a dog? It looks like a star. That looks like a oh, dog. Oh, yeah, a shit. dog in the middle. I meant the edge. I was looking oh. at the edge. I wasn't looking at the middle. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. 
Oh, dang. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket of water on it. It explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's yeah. nothing strange about that, right? It's like seeing that walk. The upper ha half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Oh. Also, the top half of the body is wet. Oh my gosh, we get it. The top half of the body is wet. <laughs> That's because it got set on fire. Oh my and I god. Threw water on it. Really? Are they serious right now? <laughs> Since I only threw water on that part. <laughs> this has to be a joke. Since I only threw water on the part that was on fire, the top half, the bottom half is still dry. No. They're not serious. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half. That has to wet. be a joke. There isn't, right? That has to be a joke. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a joke. Wait. That's almost worse than the flash. The middle half of the body is a little bit wet. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. Like, that That has to be like... Bro. They did that, that was hilarious. Th that was worse than the freaking flashback of, of the name. Ikusaba? Yeah, that was a thousand times worse. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this my knife? It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. I must have my brother in Christ stop looping. <laughs> 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 the Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. <laughs> the water is wet because it is wet. <laughs> Does that mean this knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife... It looks really familiar, <laughs> and there's no blood on it. Why? <laughs> the hamster in Makoto's head is spinning off the wheel. <laughs> Wait, is this? That's it. It's the knife the person was holding. <laughs> People die when they are killed. <laughs> Makoto Evia. <and> <laughs> this is getting really weird. There are just too many strange coincidences. The reason why Makoto repeats right everything over and over again is because for the English translation of the game, they had to use the same amount of panels in the Japanese version. Okay, that's fair. Thank you for the donor. The name's JJ. Guys, I'm lost. Can somebody explain why the top half of the body is wet? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Makoto will explain it again for you. <laughs> Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And that same knife was used to stab that same masked attacker we found here. <laughs> Makoto's brain salt called it a day. So, maybe this masked person got stabbed because... When they attacked, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife, and maybe then I... No. I... You did not. Kyoko was there. And if this really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. But no, stupid, the attack happened, and then you fell and back then, asleep, and, and you woke then up, you and then Kyoko, Kyoko was there. But why the mask? Because a luchador never removes his mask. I just don't know. I don't remember if anything clear. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No. No, it can't be. There's no way. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but... I feel like I've seen something like it before, but where? Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check that later. Mm. What the fuck is that? Great beef. Is that part of the, um, the bomb that blew up? Like... <laughs> Nacho Libre, that's right, Nacho Libre. Oh. Monokuma flower, huh? Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? Oh damn, it's pushing P. Anyway, I don't think it's related to the case, so I think I'll just stay away. Just to be sure, I should take a look at the tool shed. 
Yo, Mucha Lucha is fire, DSG. You know, I was gonna make a Mucha Lucha joke, and I was like, none of y'all remember what the fuck Mucha Lucha yeah. is. Oh, Paper Paper on YouTube talking about Mucha Lucha too. Yo, Mucha Lucha is an Mucha underrated Lucha. cartoon. That shit was hilarious. That was a funny show. If you've never seen Mucha Lucha, I don't know if it holds up today, but it was actually very funny. That and um, what was the other show that used to come on Kids WB? Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. You guys remember what I'm talking about. It was with the bald kid and it was like like a bootleg avatar and he was like, oh, he had like the fist of Tebby Gong and all that stuff. Oh my god, what was it called? Xiaolin Showdown. Xiaolin Showdown. There we go. Xiao yes. Xia yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, memory lane trip is over. This room is dusty and disorganized. In other words, a pretty stereotypical tool shed. Is this... A tarp? Wait, was there a tarp in here before? No. I should probably look into that. It could be related to the case. Thank Thanks you for the, the dono, dono Monokuma. Athena orangutan survived 76 shots from villains. Yeah, we actually was reading that earlier. And then... You didn't read it in his voice. I'm disappointed in you, but whatever. Um... Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. And then I said that, uh... I'll deal with the, the I'll just not go in cars and deal with the chickens. <laughs> I changed my stance. <laughs> I'll just not just not use vehicles and deal with the chickens. It's totally clean and completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. So... Are they saying that somebody in the middle of the confusion of the explosion came and switched the... Okay. Okay, they're, 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 they're niggas be doing some ninja shit in this school. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? How many chickens are in the coop? If I remember, there were some chickens in the chicken coop. It was five. One, two, three, four, five, it's six. Five. No, no oh, four. It's five. That okay? Oh, oh the tails, the no, tails threw me off. Down no, the, them. no, no. It has one. Its own he, he literally says, "I count four chickens." Oh, oh the <laughs> tails is mad long. God. Sure, not reading. I didn't read it. Huh? Four? There's one missing. Yo. What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Thank you for the donor, Monkey D. Seti. Finna expose my age. Remember Metabots? Metabots is fire. Yeah, and I never knew Metabots was an anime when I was a kid. Hmm. Of course, they were precisely five. Yeah, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. 14 minutes. Huh? <laughs> ah! okay. Somebody said the missing chicken is in the car. What? 14 minutes. Okay. That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. But... I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens then. What? Well, what are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Even if a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore this nigga and focus on the problem at hand. <laughs> Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? There's nothing else like pressing about the body or anything, and then then I'll talk to these fools and then figure it out. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? So in other I'd words, like to hear your alibi. A alibi? In other words, Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Uh, um, I was. 
I was beating my dick. Yeah? But why are you asking me about that now? And what's nighttime got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? The murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure? Hmm. Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hiro's been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. Listen, I'm not going off script. I don't know if what y'all are seeing are different from what I'm seeing, but I'm reading exactly word for word what I'm seeing on my screen. Why are you lying? They can literally see what and you I can see. And I can confirm when I arrived last night, there was no body here. In other words... So the murder could only have taken place at some point during nighttime after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. Ew. What? Hm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. But at that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a yeah. precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without an alibi. Hm. Also, when we went to the gym to go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? But you never came to the door. So, where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth, I was in my room. But I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so... <laughs> That's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> so, what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. I bet, or you can guess wrong and get clapped. So, I mean, you seem to be right. at quite the disadvantage I'm the well. only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? I bet, all right, y'all can just guess me then. We, we all just die. So who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna faint anymore. Listen, Makoto. Do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right. It was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of his stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. The knife had no blood on it. Yakia said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any on the ground around it. I'm suspecting Byakuya a little bit. Like you think they were killed beforehand, then the body was brought here, and then the knife put in there? I don't know how he did it. The two things that are making me suspicious are one, the bomb on the Monokuma. He knew it was disarmed already. Like he had some familiarity with the bomb. Yeah. And then when we walked in here, he was trying to warn everybody from getting close to the body, which nobody's ever done that before. Nobody's ever been like, oh, don't get close. Yeah. So, That's okay. Also true. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Listen, you damn straight, I still expect this nigga well, every trial, no. bro. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember a lot better, too. So, thank you, I mean, too. It's not a bad theory, even if it is wrong. Something else that's suspicious, the bomb went off and the body is still in the same exact place. But Toko went flying. Mm -hmm. Alright, one more person to talk to. Yasu. Hmm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? For serious. Oh, well I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember when that was. Onokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock as usual, and I headed for the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met up with Hina. That was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym where everyone else was waiting. 
next, Toko went to get the pickaxe, and that's when she found the body. What time was it then? Okay. That's right! It had to have been right around 9 o'clock. You know? Ah, oh, now that you mention it, I think you're right. Hmm. So I think we can say for sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job. And the blood was still wet on the body, so I don't think it happened at night. Yeah. Oh, it could have happened at night. Actually, no mind. And then when the blood had been more dried up. I don't know what logic the video game is using, so I'm just not going to say nothing about that. Hmm. But her whole body wasn't wet. It wasn't wet. Which... Aha! Uh -huh. That proves that the that she wasn't it murdered at night. After. It was after. The, it was after 7.30. Yeah, so 9 a.m. would be about right. Huh? Hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then, if the body was here before then, the sprinklers should have gotten it wet. Which would mean that the top half and the bottom half would have been wet. The bottom half wouldn't just be Thank dry, you, right? We appreciate the love. I think I've checked everything I need to in this area. But I'm not done yet! There are other areas I need to check. Specifically, that fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicions. And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? That's true. Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room... Byakuya has it. It's all clear now. Mm -hmm. What? Just give up! I don't have a choice. I'll, I have to see if he'll let me borrow her room key. Hey, um, Yakia? Hmm. If you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it. Later. At the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect after well, you all. you can just go with me. Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then, will you go with me? Hmm. Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later. Of and I'd steal on him. And I, I'd punch him in his throat and then take it. Goodbye. Depending on my mood, I may go with you, or I may not. So he can be on his way there to tamper. Come back stuff. later, huh? Okay. Then in the meantime, I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should check out that one area. Nigga, what one area are you talking about? Congrats on the graduation, Glenn. Monokuma was laying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. The bombs. You know? Yep. Okay. I just found something. What is it? It's. Huh? Oh, we don't have to do this again. And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found so in the garden. Them the suspects, because they were the ones around it. And not that Biakia was the only one that knew it was dismantled. Yeah. Prime suspect. Okay, I've checked everything else I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. Like said, he I should head back to the garden to get by and the ask body. Inspect the body, I mean. You 
think you can go soon, Byakuya? Let's go. You wanted to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well. Let's go. Ah, wait for me. He done tampered with the evidence already. Byakuya walked off without a second glance, and I hurried after him on our way to the dorms. Well then, here we go. Byakuya took out the key and slid it into my keyhole. Damn. Oh, and then... <laughs> oh. That wet bush. Oh. And it's open. Looks like it. Thanks. Now you wide open. So, this is Kyoko's room. There's something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? Thank Thanks you for the donut, for the Monokuma. Donut, there you go. Who remem oh. Who remember the secret Saturdays or Generator Rex? I personally never watched either of those. Yeah, I didn't either. I think it's probably a key. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for their lockers. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. It doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya doing something like that. It's certainly but if it possible. is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? In the dojo on the fifth floor. Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this might go to. Dojo? Maybe making me feel dumb because the main character is supposed to be a reflection of myself and he's... A, a, he's just... A dunce. Here's her bed. I don't see anything interesting here. At least, as far as the case is concerned. Smell it. Yeah, right? Take a sniff. Here's the bathroom. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. Oh. Then we're not gonna take a look? Yeah. What? You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some kind of clue here. A clue that might help us understand Kyoko. Come on. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take time out of my search to come here? It's so soft. Huh? Okay. Did you want to go grab it? All right, it's time for me to sell out on Shira while she's gone. The Uber Eats arc is complete for tonight. We should talk more about how she was wrong about the chickens and the orangutan with the sword. I don't know. Huh? Look at the pool. Why are you still by the stairs? I'm not. Shira's by the stairs and she won't go. All right, she's gone, y'all. She did a meet defeat. I, I admit defeat. But we had the conversation again with, with Lupasan earlier. So it was pretty funny to bring it back up. And then we, uh, we, we even like expounded on what would happen about how the orangutan would first blind her with pocket poop. And then she like, she'd have to be like wiping it out of her eyes, you know, cause it's like, orangutan like they, they throw doo-doo like and she's like trying to wipe doo, doo out of her eye and then by the time she gets it out she's getting charged by this orangutan like it's like right up in her face and then by then it's too late you know what i'm saying so there's just lots of factors that weren't considered originally that have now come into play and have changed her mind see it's game over bagel <laughs> game over That's bagel <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Green said, what is it with you and shit? <laughs> I don't know, but I'd love to do a, um, a DDR stream. Like, hook up the, get a pad, hook it up.
Actually, Omar, I'm the one that brought up that, that point. The pocket poop. If these mods are realistic to sleep, I don't know what to say. Yo, Batman Beyond was fire. Whoever just... Oh, Free said that. Yeah. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed Ew. no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete. Something to give us some sort of direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What's this? It's true. Okay. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it! What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Well, something has certainly happened, so open it. Uh, okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets? What? That's all that was in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets. What could it be? I wonder what could what could she possibly mean by under the sheets? Where are sheets found in the school? Under the sheets. I wonder. Under the sheets. But could something be hidden under the sheets? Under the bed sheets? These sheets? Part of me didn't infect, expect to find anything under the sheets. But as I lifted up the sheets. What's this under the sheets? I found a crumbled up piece of paper under the sheets. Class number 78, student registry? Mukuru Ikusaba. I see. It appears to be Mukuru Ikusaba's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. It's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she stuck into the headmaster's room, along with the key. What? This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said a death without meaning was unappealing. And this is what she left behind. Hmm. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search. Okay. I made an effort to pull myself together, then looked down at the profile sheet. Name, Mukuru Ikusaba. Sex, yes please. Yeah? The ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament so and began writing life. for military magazines. Just before entering she middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up no information and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. Fenrir, what, is that? what does that mean? What does Fenrir mean? Fenrir. Yeah? Hang on, let me look that up. Oh, I want to know if that's like an animal or something. Hang on. Okay. It's a wolf. That's the tattoo on her hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, she never revealed why she decided to, to return home when she did. Okay, yeah, wolf. Look at his profile. So, it's definitely not Kyoko, because... Wait. Wait a minute. It could be Kyoko, because she always has on gloves, no? Yeah, she does always have on gloves. Oh I my god, they're that. annoying. The ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. And she's very comfortable around dead bodies. And she knows how to fight. She's tactical. She doesn't remember anything. Okay. She's actually Violet Evergarden. This doesn't feel real. The yeah. world I grew up in, it's like a completely different dimension. It's like one's non-fiction and the other is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare the two. That's how different this is. 
That's how I saw things as just an ordinary person. But then, I, see. I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Naturally. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir has already... Found it. Found it. Yeah, Whoa. that's Killmonger, Diamond. Not Warmonger. Oh, Lord. I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player. And a bit Fuck. player is becoming our hero. Ah, it's you. It's too late. <laughs> Fuck. They probably wouldn't even notice if you didn't Wah -wah. say anything. Hmm. What have you got in your pretty little hand there? Uh-oh! You found her profile? So what if we did? Hey, come on now. Don't freak out on me. I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either. Even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami. Who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room? Sakura. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. What? Yeah? Are rule violations really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Cut my line. Hmm. I did? Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Of course I am! A proper school life is built on the dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. Oh. So you're just saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Of course. Absolutely. I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all is now, can I? Hmm. In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's about the one writing all the rules. There, actually. One of the participants in this killing game. Interesting. I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there actually were, did I? Hmm. I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all first got together in the main hall way back when, there were 15 people there, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. There are more people in more rooms. Uh, misunderstanding? Are you saying... In other words... That's right! There weren't actually 15 of you. Yes, indeed! The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16! Which we know, because the chick was hiding. Bro. This nigga forgot? We had to flashback like 30 times. Mukuru Ikusaba, the 16th student at Host Peak Academy. Don't worry, we're gonna see it again in a minute. 16? Then... 
Oh my god. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. We fucking summon that flashback. The 16th student. Mukuro Ikusaba. She's part of this school life. So the one making all the regulations is... Why? Huh? Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well because... <laughs> like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. Thank you for doing Uncle Sai, you know. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Keep doing your thing. I love you guys. Good vibes. We love Thank you, you too. We love you too. Thanks for the love. Yes, indeed. Makes sense? Well, now. Okay. That's all you get for now. It's never his last line. <laughs> oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get. So I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kirigiri. So I'm gonna share a little secret with ya. So she's not dead. Seriously? Hey, um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out, <laughs> all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. So that's not her. The body. What? Ichi Melo says, hey, yo, your boy Roshi, run me the price, fam. How much for your dreads oiled in mondo grease and yam sticky with that? With whatever you got in that kitchen twerking with that wok, juices flowing, ass dripping to shake it like a salt shaker. Okay. That comment almost gave me a stroke. <laughs> Highlighted messages, man. Yeah, just... <laughs> what? <laughs> Working with the walk. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, that's all you get. <laughs> Thanks for the dono, Aqua. Yeah, y'all started at 11.30 tonight. Got me late to the stream, man. Sorry, oh, man. Know. Shit happens. I only missed an hour. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars? Wait, it's on the back of her hand. The tattoo. Wait, but no. Monokuma specifically said there were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars. Which means those fake nails on the corpse. Hmm. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? Such ignorance. God must have really hated you to make you so dull. Jeez. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? Oh, he forgot already. He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuru was a student here. Right. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuru is the one creating the rules to the game. But why would he tell us that, and why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuru is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. He said, Mukuru is related to the case? It's oh, so 30 minutes possible. later. Why does Kyoko wear those gloves? <laughs> Perhaps she is the one who killed Kyoko. What? Hmm. 
That would explain why we would have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Mukuru is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hmm. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Mukuru Ikusaba isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. We thought Mukuru, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good point. So in other words... Mukuru giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense, then, to assume that Mukuru isn't the culprit, but the victim. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Mukuru and come to the wrong conclusion. Hmm. That's what makes sense to me. The way you say it, it definitely does seem possible. But if that's really true, if Mukuru isn't the killer, then who is? Hmm. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places in need of investigation. I should find out if that key and the dojo really are connected. Let's go. Well, are you coming? Yoko could have clapped her and then just left. Since she has a bear key. Yeah. There are wooden lockers here. They use woodblock keys just like at those super traditional public bathhouses. It looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go to one of these lockers. I see. Makoto, do you see the locker farthest to the right? Very strange. That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. You understand what that means, right? I should probably use the key we found on that locker, right? That's right. Well, just try it. Uh, okay, it's a fucking bomb inside there too. I took out the woodblock key and inserted it into the locker's metal lock and... The locker eagerly accepted the key and it opened. There are arrows in here. It looks like 10 arrows in total. They look like they're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. But of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a wadded up ball of duct tape. I wonder what this was used for. Is that a blood stain? I see. If it is, that means it must surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case somehow? But how could it possibly be involved? I think that's all the locker has to offer for now. Is something wrong? Very strange. It's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Yakuya? Hmm. Forget it. Come on, we need to continue to the next location. Huh? What next location? What? There's still something we need to look into. We need to do more research on Fenrir. Oh, the library. That secret room. Fenrir? You mean the mercenary group that Mukuru was a part of? But how are we supposed to find out about that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Where in this school would you go to do research on something? Research? Bro, this nigga's brain does not work. Are you talking about... The archive? That's right. The archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access to. Let's go. We only have so much time before the trial begins. Let's hurry. Damn, we speed running. Yeah. Hmm. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Yaki seemed to know the archive like the back of his hand and went straight to a shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, here we go. He quickly turned, returned with a file in hand. Alright, well give it to me, nigga! I see. Take a look at this. Hmm. I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Hmm. How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Uh, I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. <laughs> well, whatever. I'll read it for you, but I expect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. 
Unlike military contractors, there are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. Somebody said Biakia and Makoso are noticeably dumber this chapter. Side effect of being stuck with AoE and Hero for so long, their stupidity is contagious. <laughs> they claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into an enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, however, believe there was mounting internal tension within the group, and they simply imploded. What? What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of alternate reality. Hmm. Well, it isn't. This is our reality, the only reality. These people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here, an unpredictable, unimaginable world. <laughs> That's what makes it all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I would use. So, did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Now that you mention it, the report said something about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? The Wolf of Ragnarok. That's right, it said the Fenrir, it said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interested related to that? To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. What? They got a tattoo? Of Fenrir? Could that mean? Oh, oh god. I don't- I feel like I don't know shit about this trial. I don't know anything. I'm just along for the ride. It's Fenrir. That's what I know about this trial. Time is utterly and silent, her body and yet wet. it constantly assaults us. Organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. So, please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later! Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Got a piece of grape branch. Then the time has come. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial. That's right. It would seem that way. Let's go. I'm confused. So, everybody doesn't have to be present for the trial? I thought they did. Well, I mean, if there was a 16th student that's a part of the game, she hasn't I been mean, to a she trial. Didn't want to win, but that's weird. Whoa, Biaki and Makoto showed up together. Is that oh. the, yeah, great brand? She means that. That's exactly what the fuck I meant. <laughs> Alright. Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared without a word. We were fucking, of course. Any other questions? Yeah. yeah. Makoto's ranked high enough for you guys to go off t together. Just the two of you. Thanks for the dono. Thank you. Th thank you for the dono. I, I I cannot pronounce that. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for the yen. I appreciate it. Thanks for the sub, Daffy Duck Esquire. Fizza, that is the script, bro. Are you jealous? Hey. Or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? What? Stop talking and brace yourselves. He'll be here any second. Any second? He could show up at any time. <laughs> when I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. But... We stood there for five full minutes waiting for something weird to happen. And then five minutes became ten. Why? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? 
could it be? Maybe he died again? Hmm. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here or... <laughs> or what? 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 Jesus. <laughs> Did I scare you? Come on. I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? Thanks for the donut, Pinosuke. Kyoko Kirigiri, the 15th student, lying dead as F somewhere in the school. The ultimate question, watch out for her. Oh. What? I made you wait? You got it all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Huh? I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here. Now, can we? What are you t talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong. But I've been waiting ten. So it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Kyoko! Ah! Kyoko! You're still alive? Uh, no, that's a ghost! Stop talking! Hmm. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial! You need to have some of the fun for later, right? What? But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being late? Is that right? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? <sighs> You're so selfish. So spoiled. You're right. There's no penalty. Officially. But I bet you'll be sorry later. Shing! No. I'll make sure you're sorry later! Anyway, hustle your butts onto the elevator! I'll be just one step ahead of ya! When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko! Ah! So you really didn't die! Indeed. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God! I'm so glad you're okay! Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Huh? He's right! Now we gotta deal with a ghost! I told you! Stop talking! Let's go. Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Byakuya stepped into the elevator. Master, wait for me. Uh, um. Good call. Who knows what might happen to us if we take too long. But... I'll be happy when this trial is all over. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator. But I... I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. That's not a real tattoo. It's not real. Not. It's not. Look at it. It's faded. Look how it's faded on the edge. It looks like it's like temporary. Definitely possible. I just wanted to check that real quick. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... Correct. 
I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. Whew. I had no idea a body had been discovered. I thought you were going to say discovered. Discovered. Then, when did you find out? So... Just now. I finished my search and came back down. Just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. However... I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms... And that's what the key you found goes to? Wrong. Actually, to be precise, not quite. In other words, I use Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? Just a second! Hey! What are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma! Makoto. We can go over all the details after we get through the trial. Okay, Makoto? Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. It would seem... Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For her? That's a strange way to put it. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? To make sure Goodbye. they can accuse her. Well, if that's all... Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. Thanks for the dono, Marakuma. And the door slid I'm not shut. I'm going to read back because I don't want to hint. Oh, okay. This time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes with preparing for an execution. In that dusky darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without a warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. But it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was the blinding light of despair. I can't wait! I can't wait! Ah! I've been waiting for this! I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this! The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed! Chills! 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 Let's, let's get on with the show! And so... You ready? ready? The curtain opened up for the fifth time. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. Deadly class trial. With that we can begin. Um, let me see here. Oh. Five minutes for each phrase. I got, I got tree SP. There was one down there somewhere that was three. Nope, the only one that's three is this one. Boom. Yep. That's what I said. There Lock was and one loaded. Down somewhere that was three. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. If you can figure in, I'll put. Okay. Well then, let's discuss first. We need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. Oh God. Flashback incoming. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. Nigga, what? He thinks she's a ghost, remember? But Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost! 
but she has legs and stuff. Well, that's just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. Or what if that is Muku Ikusaba and then they just dressed up like Kyoko? What if they're like a master of disguise? I mean, that infiltration unit, I wouldn't doubt it. That Kyoko actually did get fried. We'll see the. Oh my god. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Let's compare Kyoko's lips to the dead body's lips and not the lips you're thinking Her about. Traits? One important trait that Kyoko has that proves the body doesn't belong to her. Her fucking face. Oh yeah. Like what? Shoot. Damn. The gloves. <laughs> oh my god. Please. Oh wait, whoops, getting bited already. already. I got it. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. But Okay, you know what? Whatever, this fucking video game logic. Like, I don't think that my answer was bad. A trait that proves that it's not her, her face. It's fucking Kyoko. That's a logical answer. Oh, you can't see the face. Oh my god, this fucking video game logic, bro. In that bro. case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. There's no way that corpse is Kyoko. But if I can't prove why, we're gonna be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice but to... Thank you for don't know, Kanosuke. Let's compare Kyoko's face to the body's face. And I ain't talking about location. That Kyoko there is just a ghost! Impossible! Okay, then prove it! Prove she's not a ghost! The dead body wasn't wearing gloves! They got burnt up in the explosion! Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion? Well, yeah! She must have been wearing gloves! Because that corpse is absolutely Kyoko! This entire discussion is idiotic. It would be the body analysis. Of yeah. This. That Kyoko there is just. Okay, then prove. The dead body. They got burnt up in the. Then she was wearing. Well, yeah! She must have been wearing gloves! Shoot! That Kyoko there is just a ghost! Impossible! Okay, then prove it! Prove she's. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves! They got burnt up in the explosion! Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion? Well, oh. yeah! She must have been wearing gloves! No, that's wrong! She can't have the gloves on with the nails. Whoops. No, there's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated like that. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. Okay, so then. What a waste of time, bro. Victim? 
First, we need to figure that out. Hi, man. This fucking idiot making everybody waste their goddamn time in the trial, bro. That's the first thing I said. You made me lose You're two the hearts one who's for been nonsense. dragging us around in circles. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. Kyoko really is still alive. Then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body... No, it's wrong! There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? If you're lying. You'll die a cruel and unusual death. Cruel oh, and unusual girl. death? This I gotta see. She's just yeah. being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her master must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. Yeah. Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Oh, really? Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Okay, so... To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir? The dog of Ragnarok or whatever? The wolf. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world ending wolf beast. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. Memories coming back? They're starting to act more like their normal selves. And... Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Oh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised. But you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? Now we have to have a clue last trial? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. Thank you for the donut no, NBA highlights. Nice. You can finish this. You can finish this tonight. The case is short today. Oh, interesting. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly. That other information came from Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? Oh, shit. So that means Kyoko got it wrong? Mm, who was she? Who 
was Mukuro Ikusaba. She's been gone this whole time. And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? I don't know the Bushido way of gaming. So what's up? How are you all doing today? Have you ever seen the anime of that game you're playing? It's pretty good. Uh, we're doing good. Uh, thank you for asking. And no, we have not seen the anime. Yes. A few people have asked for a reaction, so we'll, you know, it just depends on how many people are interested in that. But thank you for the dono as well. Yes, Which would you. mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? It must have been the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after. Thank you for the dono again, NBA highlights. What I remember doing this one so fast on God. No, the headmaster oh, has Somebody else said that it was short. Unless unless somebody said that you were wrong that it was short. Yeah, several people said they were wrong. Oh wow. Short. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who mm -hmm. killed Mukuro is She's freaking first out. and mm -hmm. foremost. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit chat as much as possible. Why are you freaking out, Monokuma? Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so <laughs> nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains! What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then... One of us killed Mukuro? Wait, no! There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along! Nope! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events! Oh, shut that down real quick. Seriously? Then, one of us be, killed uh, Mukuro? Biakia. Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Or, well, no. No. Huh? Or it could be Toko. No. It could be Toko. Because when she blew up, nobody knew where she was at. Yeah. Everybody's like, where's Toko? And she survived it. She survived it, and when she blew up, she could have fucked with the body. So it's between Toko and Byakuya. They're not going to make it Kyoko. That's too obvious. I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Um, there's going to be two suspects. Based on what we know, I got it. You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden so I can confirm that at that point there was no dead yeah, body. Yeah, but it wasn't there last night because the sprinklers didn't wet it. And and also, what also sets up um, Toko was the fact that she found the body. So, the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it, I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better oh, idea sprinklers. of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. That's wrong! So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between right. then and when we found yep. the body? Oh, but... What time did we find the body? 
The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? And she went to go get the pickaxe. The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m., since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit. So I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh, yeah! Right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in. Okay, so I'm so totally we all met sure up at seven. It. Did the sprinklers turn on at 7? Yeah. Mm -hmm. turn on at 7.30. Okay. So that means she was murdered after, after. we all met up. That gym alibi is a bunch of baloney because it didn't happen prior to that. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m., and I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. to 7.30. Okay, looks like the game has begun. I can't provide an alibi for that period, and I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. To do that, I have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. I right, give me my sprinkler bullet. There we go. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. There it is. Fuck. Oh, I should have let it ride. We've established a time frame. It took place somewhere between 9 o'clock. Yep. And the cook. Yeah, from the 7 30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So, Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. Okay. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. The way it's worded. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And the cook. Yeah, it's at 7 o'clock. Oh, okay, I'll just find that one out. Shoot. Okay. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have a okay, so it's the first one. But that's more than enough time. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. We've established a time frame for it took place somewhere between. No, that's wrong. Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. What? Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Because somebody switched it, yeah. Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you speak such a decent word! The mouth down south? Let's go! I'm saying that the body was wet, 
but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? Because I threw water on it when it was on fire. Denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? Man, you're totally wacko. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, you'd better tell us why! Okay, I gotta just hit her with certain evidence. Top half, oh, here we the go. bottom half is dry. I admit you were nothing. I hate you. No, no, no! I don't know anything! Hold on! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I hate you. No, no, no! I don't know anything! Hold on! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. Are you trying to blame me? Should prove it. The clock getting folded. Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. The top half of the body was wet, yes, but the bottom half was completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? What a brutal maniac! I'm so sick of her. Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire. Thank you for the, the sub, Nightmare Wolf. Yes, thank you. Then I guess the sprinklers really didn't do it. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place... After 7.30, but before 9. Sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. Hey, okay. What if when they were in the gym... Okay, they looked at the bomb. It was disarmed. And Toko took it because that was the exact bomb that blew up. And so it was what if? After he explained that it was disarmed, she yes, could have she could have taken it because when we went back to the gym, the bomb was gone. So I don't know why. I mean, I mean, I don't know why Toko would try and tank a tank an explosion. So I mean, that could possibly kill her. So okay, I don't know. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, right? So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. She wasn't there, so... Kyoko's the only one without an alibi. And for me, that Muku's killer is... No, I refuse to believe it. Evil Naruto still... Kyoko murdered someone? That's... I'd just like to say one thing. If you vote for me, and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the Mastermind has laid for us. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you! You got it, boss! Shutting up now! Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So, that was her motive? If she had a motive, and no alibi, well then... I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit.
I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Yeah. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. Yeah, because she could have been Were you? when the body was moved there after Because the you see, off. there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body oh, with a tarp. certain something to keep it from getting wet. I got it! You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. Why go to all but that? Why would they go to yeah. all that effort just to keep the body from so getting wet? the time that the, the murder happened. Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. That tart. It was used the way Kyoko said. Thanks for the gifted sub, weekly flow. The tart must have touched the body, right? But the body. Wait. Something's not right. And what might that be? There's no blood on the side of the I can't worry scene. about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Thank you for the dono, Muniko. NANI?! the body with the heart. The killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Fuck. Shoot! I always gotta, I always jump By the gun. covering the body with the, the killer prevents- So the reason that- It's because the sprinkler- But the underside- It was totally spotless. It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body. Of course it didn't get dirty! No, that's wrong! Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood what? wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have yep. gotten blood on it. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Thus washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh. Yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Huh? Like they died by the blood was camouflage? What if, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim? You mean someone else's blood? Where would they the get something office. like yeah, that? They, the, I mean, the real... I know! The they could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office! That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? No. That's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. The plant? The people-eating plant? Or the chickens? The chickens. Oh. One chicken is missing. Yeah. Which was me. Could it have been chicken blood? What? 
chicken blood? <laughs> when I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. Cock blood, yeah. But after the murder, there were only four. So you're saying someone killed a chicken and then covered the body with its blood? Man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I have to agree, that certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Wait, no. no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Is it backwards? Is that the back of the yeah, coat? Oh, was it just laying on top of the body? Yeah, it's just laying on top of the body. Nigga, what am I looking at? Now, now that I'm thinking about it, what am I looking at? Then that settles it. Sorry. Thank you for the donut pocket monster. Alright, Pete Chicken Five. What that settles what? Wow, farm. facts. <laughs> Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off, but the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they've already covered in blood. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7.30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Huh? They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe, but still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh, no. I headed off to the gym, and Makoto didn't show up till later. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? <laughs> That's not... Oh, my God. Don't bother saying it's not possible. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is... Back to square is one. In and the suspicion falls back on me again. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. She just wants him to improve his innocence beyond a reasonable doubt so they can stop accusing him. Or maybe not. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 odds. Oh! See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? It had no blood on it. The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. So, what about it? No, I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. That's what I thought when yeah, I first saw it. Up. I just remembered. Kyoko, 
Kyoko went nuts. The setup. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? Because y'all would think it's freaking It's not me. that I hid it. It's just... I couldn't be sure of what exactly what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious! Very suspicious indeed! The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto! Now I'm totally convinced he did it! Well, thousand percent convinced! Considering everything up until now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer! found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it! What a horrible man you are, Makoto. Hmm. She was already dead. The knife we found lucky is the same It really is, isn't it? If he did have that, that seals it! Just because I have that automatic- Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, so there's no question! You took that knife of yours and killed her with it! What a horrible man you are, Makoto. You could also confess there's no other explanation. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. Fuck. Shoot! Bernie right. says there's no other explanation. The knife we found lodged in the dead, dead body. body. It's the same one we... It really is, isn't it? If he did have the... That seals it! Just because I had the knife, that automatic... Well, getting stabbed... Oh, good no, job. it's wrong! Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should sure, be clear from right the description now. of the cover-up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? So, when we discovered the body... The knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning... If she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her, and once to cover it up. Yeah. The victim was stabbed twice in the same spot? No, there's no way that's possible. The exact condition of the body was written down for everyone to see. It one stab wound. Yeah. Single time. I got it! The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. Then the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. It could be Toko. She stabbed her with scissors and then cover it up with a knife. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. But then that would make it two stab Exploding wounds. the body afterward was probably meant Scissor to do the same thing. No, she stabbed with the knife through the chicken. The knife didn't go through her. The knife went through the chicken. Mm. It was camouflage. But I'm trying to say, she thought she could tank a bomb? Like, what if she would have died? The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know yeah. what really killed her. 
It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. Unless it was Toko and not Joe. Unless it wasn't, I don't know. But Toko fades at the sight of blood. And it can't be Joe because Joe doesn't kill women. So it has to be Biakia. Yeah. Confirmed female. Yeah, never mind. That theory went out the window. So they wanted us to notice the stab huh? wounds and then science. detonated the body afterward. <laughs> they meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bother to put that lump of gray matter you know between what? your ears, it could still be Toko. You, you'd know the answer. Because Genocide Jack is is the killer, but Toko never said that she doesn't kill women. But like, she kills men. No, Genocide Jack kills men. It's good personality, but Toko herself she could have done blood, it. Though. She does feign that blood. How would you kill a chicken and not paint? Let me see. Does this show anything about... I'm just trying to see if it specifies like human blood or what. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level spontaneous combustion! You know, I agree with him now. I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway on this. There's only one explanation I can think of for the explosion. the explosion we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body right that fragment reveals the cause of the explosion huh? you know i feel like i've seen something like it somewhere before that's only natural because of course we saw the same thing when we dismantled monokuma it's part of a bomb And the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like... We need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. Was it That's the bomb true. that killed her? It's definitely When did they me. announce the dead body? Because they really didn't announce her. the dead body until way after it blew up, right? Yeah, but that's because he wasn't even around. So I don't know if it was because they were putting together another Monokuma bot or what. Yeah, but Fine. Said I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case, regardless. But then it also she also suffered head wounds from like something that could have been like a large pipe. Yes. It had also been struck in the head yeah. with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. Yeah. The body was covered with other ones, but these were at least several days old. Struck in the head. There was stuff in the tool shed that she could have been hit with. So she was she died from the head injury. We need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. Oh, there it is. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. 
guess. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? Or knife. And then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire no. body. Those are old. But they're old, bro. Shoot. Oh, God. Maybe it's the line after that one. He's probably going to say then that. We no, that was the last debate? line. You can see how many lines there are right here. The victim's here. fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, no, it's the yeah. first one, well, right? Yeah. And it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try something. Energy. That's got to be it. it. There was evidence that showed... And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Yeah. Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yes. yet to be determined, yes. correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Ooh, I'm glad I missed. That was an accident. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that... And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Is oh, yeah. the knife or the first um, one? That's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed you... Okay, more than I know, that. I know. The had suffered okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna take... Head. No, I'm gonna take, um... Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? A fatal the injury? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. No. Yes. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife. And then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Okay. okay. Then shall we continue the debate? Wait, the victim's fatal injury has yet to be defeated. No, it's wrong. Mufaro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? They didn't have anything to do with it? The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But then, what was the murder weapon? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blunt object about as thick as a metal oh, she hit her with oh, the pickaxe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! But that would have stabbed her in the back of the head. How is that even possible? If yeah. If someone with that, it'd cave their skull in completely. Well, maybe they held it the Doesn't other way and the hit her with the handle. No way. The balance would be all off. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. Damn. No, thanks. I bet you just hit me with the metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to <laughs> Scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground, and, and spit on it! Damn. <laughs> I feel the same way! Looks like we're on the same page this time! Seriously? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master! So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Did I? Because I didn't. A real murder weapon. It's the chicken, right? Yeah. Huh. Shit. I mean, there's no bow. But no, I don't think that would that. No, it would stab her. It wouldn't be a blunt. No, but if you just took it and just like, boop. Nah. Because it's titanium. What is the fragments near the dead body? That's the bomb. Okay. We already used that. And then the exploded uh, body house. The murder weapon? I'm going to have to go with the titanium okay, arrow. Okay, I got it. Okay, it was right. 
Yukuro was hit in the back of the head with something. And that's what killed him. And that something was... the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. An arrow? That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Arrow. Oh dear, that Are you sure? Stiff. That sounds... kind of weird. Hey! How dare you backtalk, Master! You have no right! Unless they duct taped a bunch of them together and busted yeah, the head with it. I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame Hina for doubting it. Because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. The Titanium Arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe. Yeah, the right? them together. It seems like an arrow would just be too thick. No, it's wrong! You're right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled-up wad of duct tape. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Bundling them together using the duct tape would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. Dude. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. One stick is weak, but put them together, and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Damn, that's harsh. How is it harsh? Are you even listening? Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Oh, no. You absolutely have. There's the key in her room? How that can you say that it. with such confidence? The actor could have planted that in there. Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? Okay, I'm back to thinking it was Byakuya. I'm back to thinking it was Byakuya. Because he didn't want to go down to Kyoko's room. He went and handled some business and then went in there and planted evidence. Uh, oh, um... Hmm? What's the matter? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all. Remember? Uh, of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. Nigga, why don't you show a damn? I have evidence? Evidence that Kyoko went to the dojo. It must be connected to that dojo locker. I got it! The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo locker. And how does that prove anything? Because I found Which it. It was in your put there room. by Byakuya because he has a key to he her room. He has the key to her room. She hasn't been to her room in who knows how long. It was in my room? Don't bother trying to play dumb. That key is just okay, the dude. final piece of the puzzle. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Hold on a sec. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, it's not that I want to defend her. It's just, there's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko. I want you to tell me something. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... protecting you. What? She was protecting me? And does that mean she... She knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. Could that be when... Which would mean that Kyoko... She killed someone? For me? That's enough. The time for idle chatter is over. 
A verdict is close at hand. Wait, I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know? Yeah. Yakia should know better than anyone. She what does that mean? In her room. Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. I guess you have to take nothing. There's the proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, there's proof. You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But, could I really have done that? Those words you just spoke. What are you- Exactly what I- I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than- Yakuya! What are you hiding? Master would never hide something- There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Wait, real quick, because I totally forgot. I- I totally forgot. What is the, um... How do I get rid of the white noise again? I literally haven't done it all game because I didn't feel the need to, but now it's it's getting annoying. It's in front of the, uh, I think the one that well, you I just don't want to shoot the damn... It's X. X. Okay. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. No, no. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But could I really have done that? Just slowed it down. Those words you just spoke. Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct. But could I really have done that? Okay. Let's try this. Let's try it wrong. Just spoke. Exactly. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide hmm. something from me. There's proof that you aren't the cold. I think you're not the Ah, uh, no. Thank God. I knew it was the there's proof one, but I didn't yeah. know what you needed to shoot it with. If I'm right, Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. Huh? Why not? Because she had given her room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what you meant. Oh yeah, now you switched up real quick, huh? I had the key to your room. Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Exactly. Especially since the timing of when everything happened. Yep. Am I wrong? It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. No, that's not actually true. There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. But this... This just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie. What? Did she really feel that threatened? What was the lie? Did you catch it? Because she's the killer? Or is it something else? Was there some deeper meaning hidden in what Kyoko said earlier? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of the school will stay hidden forever. So were they- was she telling them to vote for her? No, she's not to vote for her. This is a trap the mastermind has made for us. It's just save. Save the game. 
Tell me to save? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Mastermind's trap. The mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko? But what if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I? Mastermind's trap? The victim was Mukuru and Kyoko killed her? But does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. But who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. What do I do? I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose. What the fuck? Let's be pursuing. What the fuck is run away? What the fuck? There was a lie hidden within Kyoko's statement just now. A lie? Isn't that right, Kyoko? You said it. The burden of proof is on you. So let's hear it. Where's this lie, then? Kyoko is definitely lying, and it must be because there's some of the deeper truth she wants to keep hidden. Oh, fuck. Kyoko's a cow. All right. I didn't have the key to my room, because I'd given it to Byakuya. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Then, when we search Kyoko's room, how else could the key have gotten there? Someone other than me must have put it there. That's the only explanation. I didn't have the key to my room because oh. I've given it to Byakuya. Oh yeah, the key can get into There's any no room. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't I possibly that. have gotten into my room. No, no. Shoot! Okay, I didn't have the key to my room because I've given it to Byakuya. There's no doubt about that. You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Then, when we search Kyoko's room, how else could the key have gotten there? Let's see. Someone other than me must have put it there. That's the only explanation. That's the last one. I didn't have the key to my room because I'd given it to Byakuya. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Did I try to shoot this one just now? Yes. Okay. Then, when we searched Kyoko's room, how else could the key have gotten there? Someone other than me must have put it there. That's the only okay. explanation. I didn't have the key to my room because I'd given it to Byakuya. There's no doubt about that, right? I didn't have the key to my room because I'd given it to Byakuya. There's no Where's doubt Kyoko's about that, account? right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. No, that's wrong. I should have just kept it. No, Kyoko could have gotten into a room. You said so yourself. Didn't you, Kyoko? The Monokuma key. Monokuma's secret tool? Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room. It lets you get into any room in the school, which means she could have used it to get into her own room. Then I guess that's it. 
you're giving up just like that? You admit to killing- No, I'm simply recognizing that I lost. What the hell? What are you talking about? Like I said, this was a trap, and I wasn't able to escape it. So I lost. That's all this means. What? Then... Are you saying... You really didn't... Kyoko, you really aren't the killer? Okay! Time's oh, up! Fuck. Huh? I'm sorry to say, but your time is up! All done! All finished! The class trial is all over! Uh, but that's ridiculous! Since when is there any... It's because you were late! So the trial started late and time ran out! Are you serious? So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in oh my front God. of you! But I guess we already know who the blackened is, don't we? No, because she's... Remember, Monokuma was saying he was going to get back at her. Yeah, she didn't do it. <laughs> Oh wait, what? No, wait, what? No, 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 what? What? Do not overwrite your save file if you save using new slot. Nigga, what? Oh. <laughs> Good job! You got it right! <laughs> Brilliantly right! We got it, right? Does that mean Kyoko really is the killer? But something strange is going on here. There's something wrong with this whole class trial. Kyoko! Now then, I prepared a very special punishment! Oh, I prepared an extra special punishment this time. Is everyone ready? Okay, then. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Bye. Oh no, it's gonna slide her back. She's gonna get crushed. sucks because your back is turned you don't even know when it's coming jesus <laughs> she's turning blue in the face yeah that's it oh my gosh yeah, that's pretty bad wow well then so then i guess the next and that's how the class trial of Mukuru Ikusaba came to an end. I still had to wonder whether Kyoko was actually innocent or... But, so Monokuma would just lie? Yeah. Regardless, the truth was lost forever. Even for me. I just stopped thinking about it. That was the end of Mukuru's class trial. And in the end, it would prove to be our last class trial. Once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope's Peak ever again. What the fuck? So that's like a trash ending. We had obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. 
What? Yeah! Everybody was busting in that, bro. That's crazy. Wait, what happened to Toko? She's on the shirt. No, she's she's dead. They're holding the picture frame. Yeah, that's it. She's, oh yeah, she's, she's bro, dying. bro. Everybody, oh, this is wild, bro. Everybody nothing inside that dog. Peace, but only inside the school. Peace, but only for us. That was the only hope we had. Hope. 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 This is hope. This isn't right! Oh, what the hell? Huh? What the fuck just happened? Makoto, why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal That's for Kyoko's claim? That's why some people said the save didn't matter. Some people were saying you don't have to save. Because I guess yeah. it was going to rewind. Yeah, it was a whole... Okay. Her claim? Oh, that's right. I have to... Do I expose Kyoko's lie or not? Not wrong. I have to think about this very carefully. What do I do? Oh I've made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was Thanks with you guys the dance. entire time. Genjutsu. <laughs> I couldn't possibly have killed anyone, or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Thank you for the donor, just another artist. Makoto had that That's So Raven vision. That's exactly yep. what that was. That's exactly and thank you for the dono, King Peggy. If you recall hey. Hero's free time, he foreshadowed this ending with him saying, the mother of his and your kids are the oh, same. Oh, yeah, he did Oh, wow, that. so he is a clairvoyant yeah. in a way. Okay, wow, that's cool. And then he, we told him that vision would never come true. This nigga telling Usopp lies? <laughs> that's funny. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? Oh, back to me. It, it had to be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong! Let's think about it one more time. There's gotta be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead, and then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said, to trap the mastermind set for us so that's why this has to be okay time's up yeah. time's up class trials all over everyone can stop talking now what time's up what do you mean time's up there's no time's up since when have we... It's because you were late. So we had to push back the start time. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. Voting time? We got second. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's, that's oh, okay. how it was supposed to go. Okay, we actually got coins this time. Now, who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Hey, hold on! The hair. Look at this. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? This nigga. This is so weird. Okay, this is bullshit. This is another fake one. 
Bro, it's just a prank. You think I'm the killer? How did it even uh. switch to us? Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. Everyone, you're wrong. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do it! Yes, indeed! Good job, everyone! Good job? Yep. Yeah! They got it right! No, that's wrong! None of this makes any sense! This whole trial doesn't make any sense! Hey! It makes perfect sense! Shing! It's the same as always! It's just like all and I'm gonna end it in the same way! Trails, chills, kills! It's time for your heart pounding, positively thrilling punishment! But wait, why do I. Kyoko! I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. That's right. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Okay. Dang. This is bullshit. It is. So are we gonna get to play as Kyoko now? No, it's gonna reset again. And then and we're then gonna we have, have to, to run, run away. Because it's not a real trial. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, we can squishy squash. So we don't have that board in front of us like she did. No, it pops up after oh, like you get like oh, okay. halfway down. There it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the thumbnail. Yeah, Alejandro, he knew we would pick this option and get fucked. Because I was looking at the thumbnail, I'm like, why is there a TV? And I thought it was a TV from the beginning. But it was actually this. After school lesson. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Yep. Well. Poor thing. All right, well, now I guess we get to run away. Yeah, see, there goes the TV. Oh! Wait! Wait, it was real! Alter Ego saved us! No way! Wait, so wait! So we're gonna fall underneath. So he's not actually gonna squish us. Oh, what? What's this? What's going on? Um... Hey, was that? Uh, um... Uh, yeah, it had to be. Th this is... Alter Ego. Alter Ego? Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? Yeah, he, he crushed the laptop, but we had uploaded him to the system already. Yeah. I was thinking about that. I'm like, so what was the point in uploading him? He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell! I don't believe this! It would seem... It seems you finally made a miscalculation. <laughs> no, you mis miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? In other words... What I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. Why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing! It was a pinch! An itch! The stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makoto! 
Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never gonna see him again. Yeah to waste away in a garbage strewn pit in a way that's an even better special punishment. <laughs> But it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. Thank you for the dono, Monokuma. I guess now you can look back at my other dono. I can. But there's no way to pull them all up right now. Let me see. Nope. Yeah. Okay. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> um. Is he gone? I don't know the nurse in black. So why the f he didn't save Kyoko? That's actually a good question. Yeah, I have no idea. Hey, Kyoko, the what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. In other words... Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What, what did you what say? What are you talking about? So... You'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. But that still doesn't tell us who killed... Mukuru. It the fuck? Wait, sure, what the fuck? Is this how the game started? Like, is this what he said? said? The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Because we fell down and hit our head. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every Thanks year. Thanks to the Dono Hono you, the power of the ultimate lucky student. What the fuck is going on? It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Yeah, this is how the game started. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate skill school filled with the ultimate students was me. This whole motherfucking thing has been a dream, Shira. I'm deleting this game off the PlayStation. I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? No, that's how it started. It wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Oh, what the what? fuck? Finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then, I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. No, this isn't a dream. Like an inception, a dream within a dream? I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for the dream. What stinks? Nice and good. <laughs> What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck here till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. I remembered all too well what had happened. Okay, so he did remember everything. Alter Ego saved me. And he used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. 
So I can't give up now for myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First up was to start looking for a way out of here. Okay. So should we stop here? Yeah, this is a good stopping point. What the hell was this chapter? Yeah, we fell from mad far. Mm -hmm. Well, that person scared me. So should we override our prior now? I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a new save right, because I just don't know. Monokuma, thank you for the dono. The other dono say what Disney's Frozen iconic saw. Let oh, it let it go. Oh, this is that one. This is the choice. Let it go. Okay. Damn, we somehow made it perfectly for three hours tonight. Oh, I can turn this off now, can I? Yes. So I, I guess we can go back now. to the other one at some point and see what the runaway option is. Oh, yeah. Wait, you're almost done? Five minutes? Yeah, no. <laughs> so why? Should we finish the chapter? Do you guys think we're almost, like, we're almost out of this chapter? Is it cap? No. <laughs> it's not five minutes. Yes. I see no. Yes. No, stop now. They cap. Okay. Rex said we got two to three more shoes. <laughs> so, no, definitely not. Oh, it's like 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. It's late. It's like 2.30 th here. We'll continue on the next stream. That was good. That was good. That was a shorter trial than the last couple trials. But I'm still upset that we didn't get to the bottom of who died. So nobody's really died in two trials. Yeah. Essentially. Like, I feel like we haven't lost a person in... Well, the last trial was Sakura, right? Yes. Yeah, she took herself out. Yeah, so nobody, so nobody, nobody went finished. down for that. And then this one, we don't know who did it. And the trial seemed like it was rigged from the start it. anyway. So. Yeah, it was. Trying to start to to okay. Up, like, okay. Interesting. Interesting. That was fun. Very, very, very good. Good stuff, guys. Um, okay. So let's let you know. The last stream also got claimed. Or like 10 times. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know who his company is. Apparently, they're hitting a bunch of people with Rompa streams. If this continues to happen, I don't know what we're going to do about the second game. Um, I mean, we already weren't going to jump right into the second game because the quarry comes out on June 10th, so we're going to do that. But I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys because this is probably going to get clapped too with copyright claims, and I'm going to have to fight them all. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, of course, thank you guys for supporting the stream. Anybody who came in, uh, sub, donated subs, memberships, join donated all that good stuff if you just came in here hung out spread good vibes we appreciate you as always um they did where which chat youtube youtube chat um, they responded on twitter to your copyright tweet okay i will i will take a look at that i, I missed it i get so many notifications on twitter so i'll, I'll check when i'm done actually Okay, that is going to be it for tonight, guys. We're going to wrap. Hope you guys have a great night, and we will definitely catch you in the next one. So have a good night, y'all.